if only we could realize that sometimes God is only made known when we refuse to fall. At times, God is made known when young people stand. What do you stand up against? Anything that is wrong, you stand. Anything that is unbiblical, you stand. Anything that is ungodly, you stand and you stand against it. Amen? Daniel chapter 3 verses 14 introduces us to King Nebuchadnezzar and the three Hebrew boys. And the Bible says, And Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true? Is it true that you do not worship my God, nor serve the golden image that I have set up? And then the Bible says that, and he continues and says, Now if ye be ready, now if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the psaltery, the segbat, and the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, that you fall down and worship then well. But if not, you shall be cast that very same hour, not on the side, not at the top, not below, but in the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is this God that shall deliver you out of my hand? You see, lesson number one that we get from this passage is that the devil is in the business of giving second chances. If you thought that it is only God that gives second chances, I'm here to tell you this morning that the devil is also in the business of giving second chances. You see, if you do not bow the first time around when the devil says bow, the devil comes back and he gives you a second opportunity to bow. You know, there is people today in their houses, they have material that doesn't belong to them. And you see, the, the first time came as you were working for your employer, you opened up the, the drawer and you saw all that fancy cutlery that you don't have. And you were tempted all of a sudden to, 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 to take without permission, to steal. But you remember that I am the son and daughter of God. I will not do such thing against my God. And then the devil said, are you sure? And you said, yes, I am sure. Then the devil took you back to your house. <laughs> he made you open your own drawer. He made you see the plastic spoons and knives that you are eating from. And he says, now if you are ready, at 8 o'clock tomorrow in the morning, you'll be checking in. Six, you're going to be knocking out. Now, if you are ready, that at what point do you hear the sound of my voice? Just take a few of these and throw them in, and it shall be well with you. That's how they ended up in your house. You see, many of us today, we, we, we have heroes that we looked upon. They fell at the scene of adultery and fornication. Not that they could not stand, but because the devil offered them a second chance. So God is looking for young people that will be able to stand, especially in the last days. I mean, where is that Joseph that they will say when they come face to face with Mrs. Pot of Fire? And all of a sudden there is an urge to merge and there is a, 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 a desire for action and, 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 and the passion for self-satisfaction, but then you stand and you say, I will not do such a thing against my God. Yeah. Where is the, the, that young lady that will say that society can change, times may develop, but I will stand true to my God. So today I'm sharing with someone and I'm saying, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior represent him in this dying world so that his second coming may be hastened. And he is not looking next door for it, he is looking at you.